What is up, you guys? It's your host, Galadon. I'm still on the road. I'm not back in the studio yet, so hopefully adding face cam to these videos very, very soon. But for now, out on the road, and you know, we just had the balance update, and this is a bit of a departure from my typical videos. Normally, uh, if I look for a new deck, I will usually look to somebody that wrecks me. Like, if they just take me apart and overrun me, I figure maybe it could have something to do with the deck, and sometimes I'll switch over. But this was right after the balance update, and this guy was running uh, b the Balloon Rage, and of course the Balloon had that recent buff. Also, you'll notice he's got Bombers, those were recently buffed, and of course, Elite Barbarians and the Clone spell, kind of crazy, really surprising, and uh, it just kind of took me by surprise, but I did manage to control him okay in this battle, and it looked like fun though, you know, and so... The game isn't always about just hardcore winning for me. Sometimes it's about trying out new and different decks, trying out new and different strategies, and the clone spell, something I hadn't really used, and the elite barbarians, well, I just gotta tell you guys, I have a feeling until the next balance update, we are headed into an elite barbarian meta. These guys are so strong, so fast, just so extremely overpowering. If you're not ready for them, Especially, as you'll see in a little bit, with a Rage spell, they're insane. Just absolutely blast through towers. Now, I did manage to blast through his tower with the Hog Rider and the Archers right there. Caught him a little bit off guard. I guess maybe part of it was he's got a relatively expensive deck. A Minion Horde, Balloon, and then he's got the uh, Elite Barbarians in there, a couple of spells. The Rage, Rage is tough. Obviously, it's cheap at 2 Elixir, but you've really got to catch your opponent off guard or be fast about it. And that's why I was thinking Elite Barbarians plus Rage are absolutely overpowering right now. And it turns out, well, they pretty much are. So this battle right here, again, I know he's got the Balloon now, so we're keeping the Balloon off to the side. Luckily, this deck had the Archers and the Mega Minion in it. And despite that recent nerf to the Mega Minion, a lot of high-level players still using it. Very versatile, very strong card, and it feels like it fits back into my deck. So we'll see. So right here, he's got the Elite Barbarians moving in. Fireball helps slow them down. He does use the Rage spell. One of them gets to the tower, but luckily that Fireball split them up. One went after the Tombstone. The other got to the tower, and if you noticed, it was bad. I mean, I'm telling you, that was really the moment that made me realize that if we can try this out and time it just right, it could be an awful lot of fun. Elite Barbarians. Now, of course, this guy kind of got overrun. It just worked out that the Hog Rider got in there again and again and again. He doesn't have the time left. Ten seconds as the Barbarian's trying to cross the river. Even with the Rage spell, they're just going to get stuck on the Ice Golem. He clones them. Luckily, the log works out. Time runs out, and I win 2-0. But like I said, it's not always just about winning. It seemed like a really cool and a really fun deck. So without wasting any time, I'll throw the deck here up on the screen and we will go into a battle using the exact same deck that we just beat in the previous battle. Now the deck that's on the screen is slightly different. I've switched in the Tornado for the clone and I put that up because I feel like that's a little more effective, at least it was for me. Later on in the video, I will be using the Tornado spell for now. This is the exact deck, so down to everything including the clone spell, but I don't know. I felt like this guy was using cards that had been buffed in the balancing update. The Elite Barbs, the Bomber, the Balloon. So why not throw in the Tornado that has just seen a big strength increase as well, and you're going to see it was pretty darn effective. So right here, I enraged the Balloon. Balloon gets to the tower, drop damage, splash and crash, works out okay. But, okay, maybe not that okay, as he's got a lot of damage on my tower early on. So... Not flawless, but then again, you would expect it's a learning curve, right? I mean, this is the first time I've used this deck. I just saw it used by another player, and I just grabbed it, copied it off of the guy's profile, and ran right into battle, not even really thinking about what I was going to do. Obviously, though, enraging the balloon and enraging the elite barbs seems to be the right move. Now, again, as Hog Rider gets in there, good fireball, predicts my minion horde, and he just about gets my tower down. Not so happy about this right now, but... That is the thing about this deck. Anytime you've got a Rage spell with some win condition cards like Hog Riders, Knight Prince, uh, Elite Barbarians, of course, and the Balloon, you can get in on a tower in just a matter of seconds and check it out. Here come the Elite Barbarians and cloned. Okay, that's not how to use a clone spell. 
just so you know. Now, maybe I need some practice. Obviously, you've got four barbs against two. I clone them. What's going to happen? The other two barbs are going to smash my two single hit point barbs. So not a great move right there. But again, I'm a clone noob. What can I say? And that's maybe part of the reason that I immediately switched out the clone spell after this. I just feel like there's certain decks that it works better on. Obviously, with the Lava Hound, it's going pretty well for people. So I switched it out right here. Lost the tower. Not looking good. About 45 seconds left. But here we go one more time. Elite Barbs. And again, they run into a pack of Barbarians. He's got a Hog coming down the other side. So suddenly, it doesn't look great. But check it out. The Elite Barbs managed to get through with the assistance of the Musketeer. So the Musketeer Elite Barbarian combination works out well, and in the final 30 seconds, we've tied this battle up. We've really come from a huge deficit, and then here, I was not expecting that. Yes, he drops his rocket, so it is time for, yes, the cloned balloon again. My cloned balloon does not work out well. The splash damage would have been nice on the tower. Never got there. Gotta face his Hog Rider one more time. Elite Barb's doing a great job on defense. Check it out, covered by the balloon, and here they come, and here comes the Rage Spell. Right here on top of the Elite Barbs, time has gone into overtime, but so much damage pours out from those guys. The tower ends up falling, and somehow, some way, we grab that battle, two crowns to one. All right, so into the next battles. Here I have changed the deck and swapped in the Tornado. Let me tell you guys, the Tornado, if you use it correctly, is absolutely fantastic loving the tornado it has such a great damage over time effect on smaller units and i mean you can hold back a prince you can hold back a hog rider a golem a pekka anything to buy you extra time to take it down to get other units in between that unit and the tower really i have to admit probably my favorite card right now is the tornado spell check it out right here as it drags that minion horde it stalls it and they get wiped out absolutely loving it and here we go elite barbarians and squeeze in the rage spell doesn't work out so well this time because of that skeleton army but check it out after they're gone the barbs get to the tower and that tower is history it is nothing but a distant memory only a minute into the battle and i had to drop a wow myself now the guy probably thought i was using some poor manners there but i was honestly shocked this was one of the first battles that i had where i had a chance to use the Elite Barbarians along with the Rage spell. And Enraged Elite Barbarians doing a great job. I really, I honestly say they're too powerful. They are overpowered, you guys. They are so, so strong, so fast. It is almost impossible to defend against them unless you're just ready on the button with a small group of units like the Skeleton Army. So doing a great job getting a tower down. Obviously, we are far ahead right here. The uh, King's Tower of my opponent down to about 50% health. So it's just a matter of, do I push for the King's Tower? Do I sit back on defense? Do I throw in a balloon maybe from the middle along with a Rage Spell? Send it after the King's Tower. Here comes the balloon outrunning the Minion Horde. And again, check it out. Beautiful use of the Tornado Spell. If I do say so myself, the Tornado keeping the Minion Horde away from grabbing that balloon, allowing it to get more damage on the tower. Gotta love that. And again, one of my favorite cards absolutely right now is the Tornado at only three Elixir. So many different uses for it. As a brand new card, I have to say it's just a matter of that learning curve. As players get accustomed to using it and what it can do, I would expect that we will see more and more use of that Tornado. And here it is, the balloon, this time getting the three crown victory the Enraged Balloon. So really this deck may be overloaded with the win condition type cards. Now the Elite Barbs, not necessarily just a win condition card. They do a great job of defending against large heavy units like Giants, like the Royal Giant. But they obviously are super strong at getting to a tower because of that speed. Now right there you'll notice I threw a good game at this guy. But he said thanks to me first. We kind of had a weird taunt exchange at the beginning of this battle not normally something i say especially because i lose a good 50 percent of my battles but i threw the good game at him and figured you know i'm having a lot of luck with the elite barb rage and the tornado they do a great job of stopping the royal giant i think they're going to get to the tower 
but he's got fire spirit, ice spirit, and then he throws in the ice golem, really slowing me down. I only get about maybe one shot off, but the musketeer comes in, and the musketeer is the one that just pours on the damage. She gets in several shots on that tower, severe damage with just two minutes left, and sure enough, my opponent has elite barbs of his own. So I do feel like we're headed into an elite barbarian meta, and check it out, almost identical decks, tornadoes from both players right there, and his elite barb does eventually get in on my tower, gets a couple of solid shots in, and man, you could just see the speed, the strength, the hit points of the elite barbarians. I gotta say it once again, I feel like we're going to see them nerfed in the next balancing update. They're just too strong right now. All right, so my opponent has a royal giant working its way down the lane. I hit 10 elixir, so I went ahead and dropped minions in the far back of the playing field. Turns out they are going to survive, get up there, and start to work on the ice golem until he throws in the fire spirits. And there is the tornado as well, dragging my bomber all the way off, making him change his mind as what lane he's going to go down. But again, elite barbarians this time getting to the tower and almost knocking that tower down. So much damage pours out of those elite barbs when they get in contact with the tower. They are just devastating. So we hold off the ice golem. Little units moving in. We've got the balloon rage one more time. Come on, balloon, you can get there. No structures to stop that balloon, but check it out. The tornado doing a beautiful job pulling my balloon away from the tower. But yes, that is three hit points remaining on my opponent's tower. 30 seconds left, and you know what this means. We are going to go ahead and drag his royal giant away. Love it. Beautiful. Keeps it out of range of the tower. The elite barbarians get in there. There's the rage spell. One shot on that tower. It is all over. And now just have to count out that last 10 seconds. Throw in a couple of defensive units down. Royal Giant not going to get this tower down in time. Close one, but we are going to grab the 1-0 win. So a good game and interesting to see already other players using very similar decks. Elite Barbarians, I'm telling you, we are entering an Elite Barbarian meta. So let's check out one more battle, this time with the same deck as last. Have the Bomber in there, Elite Barbs, Rage, and again the Tornado, my new favorite card. And watch the Tornado in action against the Prince, dragging him back, the Tower, and the Goblins get a chance to work on him. And absolutely amazing, love it. It took out the Fire Spirits and really nullified the Prince right there in that big first push that my opponent was going for. So things reset, I drop the Bomber in the back of the pack, and again getting ready with the Elite Barbs and that Rage spell. This time I choose to ignore the Goblin Barrel. Elite Barbs and Rage go down and sure enough, right to the tower and that Inferno, too little, too late. Check it out, even with the Inferno Tower, those Barbs just annihilate my opponent's tower. So, so fast again, just overpoweringly fast. It is so difficult to stop those guys. They just run in there underneath air units, around anything else. And here again, the Tornado doing a great job of keeping my opponent's units away from that Rage spell. Works out really well. They never get anything on my tower. And we move forward with the Musketeer. I almost feel like, I hate to say it, it's just too good to be true. The Elite Barbs and the Rage spell, the Tornado spell, they're just doing so well. Right here you can see I misplaced the Barbs and one of them goes after the King's Tower. Now this does work out okay. But if you want both Barbarians to run to the right tower or to that second tower that's still standing, you need to place them all the way forward in the last tile, right in the corner, and then both will head towards the other tower rather than one of them heading towards the King's Tower like you just saw. So my opponent making efforts with his own Rage spell to get in, but it's just not working out for him. As you can see, I've got the Tornado ready at any moment to pull units back and away from the tower. The bomber goes down once again, this time gonna help deal with that goblin barrel. Here I split barbs again, doesn't work out. As you can see, that was one space back from the corner and they don't both go to the right tower again. I was kind of really experimenting right here just to see where they would go. This time the balloon trying to get to the tower, minion horde in behind protecting it. There is the tornado spell and there's the second tower. 30 seconds left, I've got a 2-0 lead, and yes, this guy's King's Tower 
just needs a strong breeze. And uh, yeah, this is a bit of overkill. <laughs> the elite barbs under rage, just smashing through that tower like a house of cards. So a three crown win, again, my favorite deck right now, going to continue to use it. Let me know what you guys think. Are elite barbs just too good or are they just good enough? But you know who is OP? You are for sticking around all the way to the end of this episode. I sincerely appreciate your time. I know it's valuable. Thank you for stopping by. Please do hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and come back again tomorrow for more full attacks. To get the elite, 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 enraged, elite, el, en, enraged, enraged,